Hi Cancers, welcome to your general reading for July. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately. But I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. So I'm going to pull from the Akashic Tarot deck for the overall energy here of this reading. And then I'll be using the Mythical Tarot deck. So let's see for the overall energy here. Reflection. Okay, so you could be going through a time of reflection, looking back, looking what's working for you, what isn't working for you. Um, this could be what somebody's doing about you. If you're looking onto this video for a soulmate connection, they may be reflecting about your time together at this time. Having just gone through cancer season, we know we all got in our feelings there. So here, again, it's like reflecting on the water. So it could be somebody reflecting back on your time together here. Could be that reflection is needed um, with that there. So, you know, um, how did things really play out? Was, you know, was we looking at things worse or better than they really happened? So however it resonates with you, because it is a general. So the overall energy being reflection for cancer. Let's see here. This is the mythical tarot deck. So let's see here. Sorry about this angle. You'll, if you've watched my video on what happened, you'll know why I don't have my usual setup. So temperance. Again, you know, um, needing to find that balance, that compromise, that, um, you know, Instead of um, passing the blame to somebody else here, I feel like you'll be or they're looking back saying, well, you know, my involvement was this. So we've got some like learning going on here of what actually happened and coming to the realisation of hmm, maybe I did them wrong. Um, things like that if you're watching for a soulmate. But here it's like um, compromise and learning, higher learning here. Um so, yeah, learning life lessons could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with or that's thinking of you here. This is also a card for reconciliation. Uh, you may find that um, you're seeing signs or messages here um, with these butterflies and birds. So, you know, you could be seeing signs. That's when they're thinking of you or um, you might be seeing signs of them coming towards you. Somebody who may want a second chance with you here. Um, but again, you know, and this is... Um, alchemy so again you know the mixing of the emotions and the passions here because it's usually fire and water that she's passing between each cup so it could be that you know you look back and realize well maybe I was a little bit angry at that time or maybe my emotions were heightened at that time and you know you learn a lesson or they are learning a lesson here so needing um inner peace as well you may be it may bring you peace learning that lesson, you know, how you are now looking at it. Um, this reflection may bring you or them peace if it doesn't bring reconciliation. Yeah, six of swords. So some of you will definitely be moving on. Those who don't want to reconcile, it's moving on to a more peaceful place, having going through um, this, you know, cancer season, these rough waters here. Um Always remember as a cancer, you know, you've got this, you can handle that season. Um, so maybe for you, you know, you got to let out some of your emotions or maybe you got to even speak to somebody. Um, but, you know, you could be finally moving forward now with clarity, with help from um, even spirit guides here, things like that, um, you know, moving on to a better place. It could indicate travel as this is a general reading. So I'll give, you know, um, a broad example of each card here. So it could be now that, you know, having reflected, you found peace and you're moving on. Um, for some there, um, if this is somebody, if you're not feeling like this and it could be your soulmate's energy, this will be them wanting to move towards you or being guided towards you from a much more peaceful perspective, okay? From a more positive place of thinking there. They could be travelling as well or from overseas, something like that at the moment there. So, 
yeah look at that king of cups so like i said during cancer season you should have been in you know your own element you should have took that time to um find that peace with yourself and you know while everybody else was going crazy during cancer season you should have been able to be sat on your throne you know enjoying it just loving the water here um because you can also survive on this dry land as well. You know, when we come out, you know, the other end, you will be feeling, you know, um, a lot better, I feel. Maybe with more direction. Again, I feel like travel may be involved with this boat here. But again, um, could be another water sign that you're dealing with. But overall, I feel like it's with some sort of love connection with the King of Cups, maybe they wasn't talking to you or something like that, no communication, and you've looked at the situation, what's gone on between you, and you just feel at peace of it to move forward, move on. You know, with or without them, I feel like you'll be happy now to move forward. You know, um, learning lessons and reflection to find peace is always a wonderful thing. So, you know, everybody else could have been going crazy in their emotions and you're now more at peace than they are. If it is a soulmate, they may want to speak to you um, and tell you they still have feelings for you there. Nine of pentacles here. So, yeah, it looks like you're doing well, um, you know, starting to get to a point where I'm OK being on my own. Things are going well. I'm seeing growth. I'm seeing abundance here. Again, a bird. So I feel like, again, somebody wants to speak to you or wants to message you, wants to reach out here. Um, but overall, I feel like during August, um, you should see things start to grow for you, start to move forward, start to progress here. Um, money will get better if it isn't already. This is abundance here on your own. So not needing help from other people. So a good positive time to start um connections and things like that new beginnings you'll feel that fiery energy to start moving forward you know make peace with the past and make peace with being on your own and loving yourself here sorry i have to look down to read the cards um get the messages um i'm used to having the camera face in a different way so yeah, look at that. Like I said, a new beginning here, you know, and this guy, the fool here, is quite happy. Look at him smiling. Um, you could be following your intuition here with this little guy. So, you know, you could have followed your intuition and, you know, it's led you to this new beginning, a new opportunity um, on the horizon, being more independent, um, being happy on your own here. But I feel like um, you could be at a point of a new beginning, meeting a new person. Somebody could just be there because of the other people in the cards here. Um, so if you are single, you could be um, maybe meeting another water sign very soon or a water sign could be moving towards you here. But we do have Earth and Sagittarius, Aries, you know, and air here. So I don't really focus on that. It's usually the person's energy. Um, but yeah, it's like you're needing to have faith. So I feel like that's what you've regained, peace and um, trust that you will find somebody um, or that this person is coming towards you. If you're waiting for somebody to come back, um, then I feel like you have to have faith, take a leap of faith here and just completely trust at this time. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles here, and it's about, um, it's positive energy, the Six of Pentacles in general. This card is about learning not to self-sacrifice, so maybe this was your lesson. Um, so at this time, you could be learning to say no to people, um, you know, and realising you don't have to sacrifice everything to feed somebody else. You can you know, help them and they've got to at some point help themselves here. But it, in regards with the Nine of Pentacles also in the read, um, I feel like this is a positive input of money coming in for you guys. So if you're trying to start a new business or a new job, um, positive money shows that it's coming in. Being able to 
repay loans or like college fees, things like that. Um, a positive news on its way here. Sixes are very good energy. So during August, you should see a lot of positive energy flowing towards you. Queen of Swords. So, yeah, um, Queen of Swords, we know she's like somebody who's been through this before and um, nobody's full. Um, so here I feel like you're taking on this Queen of Swords energy. It could even be like your moon or rising sign as well. Um, but I feel like um, what you're doing is you've learned your lesson. You have the knowledge now here. Um, so if it's regarding um, starting a new business, you have the knowledge to do so. You know, you have the information to do so. Maybe that's what was holding you back before. And now this shows that um, you're going to be a lot stronger and a lot more logical and, you know, to move, take steps forward, use your logic rather than your heart, especially if it's business, because it will fall on the nine of pentacles, six of pentacles. So it's saying like, um, take a leap of faith, but use logic, you know, um, trust that what you know um, is coming forward. So even if this is a soulmate connection, it's trusting to keep the boundaries up here um, that the right person won't want to overstep and knock down your boundaries and take you for a fool because this is showing that you're nobody's fool here. Um, so it could be that a new beginning here with something you've already had um, because, you know, this is the divorcee queen, somebody who's been through it before. Um, so, yeah, I feel like you're taking on this queen of swords energy here. So it could be using logic and using what you've learned to bring in this abundance here. So, yeah, so it's like gaining information, gaining knowledge here. So, yeah, it could be that you're repaying debts, like I say, for school and things like that. Something that you learned, but it's something that's made you better. So if it was a spiritual lesson, you're coming out the other end now, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and feeling better from it. Seeing, oh, that's what I learned from that. And it brings in a lot of positive energy. The lovers here. OK, so definitely wonderful energy coming in for you guys, whether this is romance or a job or however this resonates in your life here. But let's go straight to the lovers first, shall we? So um, how it lines up is like this. So we would see temperance and um, the fool and the lovers. So it could be somebody wanting a second chance with you. OK, so don't be surprised about that. Um, we all have free will and it shows you at the, with the full card here, you know, having that choice. So it will be up to you. So they will come forward to you, um, you know, and ask, do you want to give this another go? Um, I do feel like um, you might jump here and give them another chance. Um, that's some of you. Um but I feel, you know, a lot of you will be like happily, um, like I'm moving on. I've, I'm a bit tired of waiting and I'm moving on. We'll see how it goes. We're, you know, we're going to take it slow. I'm quite happy on my own at the moment. Things are going great. Maybe I am looking for a new partner, but maybe not somebody from the past. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, you know, the choice will be yours. We have free will. And we're at a very spiritual time at the moment. So, you know, it is going to be like a question of um, did you learn your lesson? Did you intake this information and how are you going to use it? Are you going to let somebody, you know, still keep trying to take from you but not giving the same in return? Or, you know, so I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, but, yeah, it definitely seems like... It, I love connections coming forward. It could be a Gemini as well. Like I said, we have all the other signs will come out, um, but it could be an indication for a Gemini um, coming towards you as well here because we have the Queen of Swords and the Lovers card here. So um, it could be um, a Gemini. Um, or if it's not a love connection or a work connection, this could be somebody... Um, who has some information for you about 
maybe a romantic partner. So somebody who could help you to meet um, a love connection here. So it might be a Gemini that's helping you to meet somebody new here or like, you know, friends trying to help you, two people come together here. So you may meet somebody via friends there as well. So let's see, Cancers. I just feel like maybe your main focus isn't love. Um, because of this lion's gate that we're going through, it could be that, um, you know, with reflection and learning your lessons, you could be like, I'm. it's okay to love somebody from afar and it's okay to move forward with my life and understand that they'll catch me up. Um, if you're looking at things like that, it'd be very positive here. Um, and then you can, you know, move forward and they will catch you up. So you could still love somebody and still want to be with somebody, but realise that your life shouldn't stand still for them. It may be that you're realising that. Um, so, yeah, too much downloads during the Lion's Gate especially in general readings because there's so many people watching. So justice, there you go. It could be that you're divorced and you get like a final divorce settlement from this person and maybe you're struggling after the divorce for money, but things will improve here. Um, maybe, you know, they were supposed to split things half half and they haven't quite done that with the six of pentacles and the Queen of Swords with the Justice for some. So, you know, it's like you got the short end of a deal somewhere. Um, if this happened in business, don't worry, you will get justice. You may end up having to go to court for it, um, but you will get justice. You will get your dues here with the Lover's Card. Um, and, you know, I feel like you'll end up being very happy there because we see um, the Fool and the Nine of Pentacles and King of Cups. So it shows you um, being, you know, happier. So maybe you got the short end of the stick, but you're happy to go on your way anyway. Look, I'm, I'm not looking for monetary gains. I'm looking for my freedom. I'm looking for myself back. I'm on this spiritual journey. That's what the Fool is, a spiritual journey. So... I'm on this spiritual journey and this money I'm not really interested in. I'm leaving it all behind. I'm more interested in, um, you know, myself at the moment and this divine learning. So, yes, I've been through these things, but I'm taking everything with me that I learn, not necessarily um, money that you're taking with you. Because I feel like if you did get a divorce, you may have not got what you were supposed to get. It didn't split equal but it's saying you will get your just rewards and the last card is the king of swords here yeah so king and queen of swords so um you could be if it is a divorce you may be both being quite cold to each other in communication um but this can indicate somebody like a lawyer or a judge as well because we have the justice card here so it could indicate needing somebody who has more knowledge in this situation than you do also it indicates somebody coming in very fast to help you somebody who has the information to help you so um again it's about um, needing to use your head more at this time if you was treated unfairly then maybe somebody comes in to help you get this justice here i feel like if somebody new is coming in for you it may be that um, this is a life partner coming in for you and you end up married here. OK, so some of you will be completely single here and you end up this person's life partner. So it could be that a life partner's coming in for you guys there. But you're moving in the right direction with the Six of Swords and the Fool here. This is um, a lot of positive energy and forward movement. So great reading, guys. It really is. Um, it's like I say, it could be a divorce for some. And, you know, it, it didn't quite happen so fairly. But you'll see more positive things coming in for you. You will see your reward coming in for you, guys. 
So, you know, later on, or maybe not, maybe this happened already and you're having a chance to reflect, like, look, I, I didn't get the money, but I've got my freedom, I've got my sense of self back, my self-worth back, my independence back, and I'm moving in a positive way. So it's like hindsight as well there, why you went through these lessons here. So wonderful. Good luck, guys.